Hi everyone, this is Learning with Linda, and today I bring you an update for the month of June and July. Here we're going to be talking about the 2023 PEBT benefits. So guys, there's three states in particular that are first sending out their payments for the summer 2023 PEBT benefits, and guys, they're supposed to be sending them out this week. So that's definitely very exciting. We also have the list of states that have been approved for the summer 2023 PEBT benefits, and of course, I bring the payout dates as well. So make sure you guys guys stay until the end of this video to ensure that you receive this information. Now, before we get started, if you're interested in the latest news regarding stimulus, child tax credit, SNAP, PEBT, and everything in between, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. Now let's get right to it. And so one of the states that is expected to receive their payment is the state of West Virginia for this week. So here we are in the West Virginia Department of Education. I want to be very transparent with where I'm getting my information from. So according to this website, Department of Education for West Virginia, when it comes to summer 2023 PBT benefits, they're actually stating on their website that the benefits will be available to use on Monday, June 12. Of course, I'm going to be updating you regarding all the newer information that's available on here. And then just as to, to add to this, there's also this news article right here for West Virginia where they're announcing that the final PBT benefits would be uh, going out this week, right? Or they're set to go out this week. Here's all the latest details regarding that. And then last but not least, we also have Maryland. Here we are on the Department of Human Services website, the .gov website. Of course, let's scroll down to the summer PEBT benefits. Here it is. Summer PEBT benefits will be issued automatically to all school children. We're going to be providing all the details in this video. And then I also want to point your attention to a very important part here where it says that the summer benefits, right, $120 to be issued in two equal installments of $60. So let's dive in to some of these details. And so the third state that is also sending or receiving payments this week is the state of Tennessee. Now, guys, I've checked their website and I don't see any information regarding their benefits when it comes to the 2023 summer PEBT. However, I went on a couple of forums and I have seen people are starting to report that they're starting to see their benefits already loaded in their card. So here's what we know. So Tennessee $120 PBT payments to eligible school age children, kindergarten through 12th grade, starting June 16th. So the state estimates that it will issue $80.5 million to approximately 670,800 school children during the 2023 covered summer period. Now the state will issue a one-time payment, once again, one-time payment of $120 for the summer session to eligible school age participants starting June 16th. Parents can check your PEBT card balance and you have to call the number on the back of your PEBT card. So once again, guys, I repeat for the state of Tennessee, it seems like people are starting to report that their benefits are already loaded on their card. So please check your card and you can do that by calling the phone number on the back of your PEBT card. And I also want to remind you that these payments are coming specifically to eligible school age children, meaning kindergarten through 12th grade. And as I mentioned previously, West Virginia is also another one of those states that is expected to receive their payments this week, guys. Once again, it's for school age children, meaning kindergarten through 12th grade. And here's the information that is available on their website, right? So the West Virginia Department of Education announced on Monday that it will issue a final one-time benefit to eligible students as part of the pandemic EBT program. So to be eligible, the student must have attended a West Virginia school that participates in the National School Edge Program and must be enrolled in that school as of May 15th of 2023 for the 2022 through 2023 school year. Now, the summer PBT benefit amount is of $120 per eligible child. New card holders for the 2023 year have already been sent out and benefits are set to begin on Monday, June 12th. So if your child previously received a PEBT card, they are still eligible in future issuances and benefits will be loaded onto the existing card. The state of Wisconsin is also another one of those states that is expected to receive payments for this week. So due to federal law change, only eligible school age children, kindergarten through 12th grade, are eligible to receive the summer PEBT benefits in 2023. 
So here are the requirements. So you will receive a one-time payment of $120 for each eligible child in a household. So once again, it's a one-time payment, $120. The payment will cover the months of June, July, and August. Once again, guys, it doesn't mean you're gonna be receiving a payment in June, July, and August. It's just a one-time payment to cover those three months. Benefits will be issued on June 17th. That's according to their website. Benefits will be automatically added to your existing Quest or PEBT card. Now, if you do not have a Quest or PEBT card, then the benefits will be added onto a new PBT card and mailed to your to the address you have on file. And for my friends in the state of Maryland, you cannot expect to receive your payment this week, but you can expect to receive it in July and another payment in August. So once again, guys, here we're talking about the summer PEBT benefits, and it refers to 2022 through 2023 school year, right? So here's what's on their website. The summer PBT benefits will be issued automatically to all school children who are eligible to receive free and reduced price meals in the last month of the school year 2022 through 2023. A $120 PBT benefit will be issued in two equal installments of $60 and another one in the month of August. So it's gonna be one payment in the month of July and another one in August. So it's gonna be 60 plus 60, right? Which would equal to the total um, amount of $120, just like everyone else. All children will receive PBT benefits on a PEBT card. Now, if your child received a PBT card before, then the benefits will be issued on that card. The state will mail you a new PBT card if your child is being issued PBT benefits for the first time. Now, if you previously received a card, but you have lost or misplaced it, then you may request a new card by calling the number in the back of your card. And so here we have the list of the 37 states that have been approved to provide the 2023 summer PEBT benefits. Now, one thing I do want to remind you of here is that the payments for some of these states will start in late June, and then other states could receive it in July, August, or even September, because everyone has until September 30th, pretty much, to receive their benefits. And now when it comes to the summer PEBT benefits, remember that it kind of varies a little bit depending on where you live. So if you're in the contiguous United States, it's $120. Alaska, $188 for each eligible child. Hawaii, Guam, Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, it's at $139. And also remember that the FFCRA makes school children eligible for the PBT benefits during the entire 2023 covered summer period. Now, because of the public health emergency that ended on May 11th, the summer 2023 PBT benefits will not be available to children under the age of six in SNAP enrolled households. In addition to this, guys, all funds must be distributed by the end of the fiscal year of 2023, which once again is September 30th. So this is pretty much like a set deadline benefits issued by the states for the school year or summer after september 30th may result in liability to the state and moving on to the estimated hail dates for the 2023 summer pebt benefits once again it's 36 states in total that have been approved to provide these benefits so on this list we do have alabama issuing their benefits either in july or august arizona in the month of august Arkansas in the month of July, California, July 16th, but they pretty much have until August 30th, Connecticut in the month of September, Colorado, late August, Delaware in the month of August, DC, end of June, or even into the month of July, and same thing going on with Georgia, Georgia, end of June, and into the month of July. For Hawaii, the estimated pay date is June 28th, Illinois in the month of August, Indiana late June or even in the month of July, Kentucky mid-August, Louisiana in the month of August, Maryland in the month of August, Massachusetts July 25th, Michigan in the month of July, Minnesota in the month of August. The estimated hail date for Nebraska, it would be mid-September, Nevada starting mid-July, New Jersey end of June and into the month of July, New Mexico in the month of August, North Carolina at the end of June or even in the month of July, North Dakota either in July or August, Ohio at the end of June, Oklahoma in the month of July, Pennsylvania July 31st through August 11th. 
The estimated payout date for Puerto Rico is mid-June through July 20th. Rhode Island in the month of August, South Carolina mid-August or even in the month of September, Tennessee starting June 16th, Utah at the end of July, Vermont late August through the month of September, Virginia starting July 22nd, West Virginia mid-June, Wisconsin starting June 17th, and Wyoming in the month of August. And that is all the updates that I have for today. Remember to turn on your notification button to know when I have uploaded a new video. See you guys next time.